welcome I'm going to talk about non uniform acceleration non uniform acceleration in the last video I've mentioned the word uniform acceleration and I've uh, emphasized that the word uniform means same just like you we all wear the same school uniform so in this case we are talking about non-uniform that means not same okay. so means that means not same so so what do I really mean oops now let me look think of my my rectangular car again and suppose that it's moving along the road and and the road is a, uh, might, might have some ups and downs and, and it's a bit uh, bumpy here and there and it's uh, uh, smoother uh, uh, at some places so sometimes sometimes this car might be uh, going a bit faster and sometimes a bit slower so let's say it started from rest okay and, and after say one second after one second it has increased in velocity to uh, right three meters per second and then after another one second it goes even faster to um, five meters per second and and but after a second it slows down maybe he has reached some bumps uh, and doesn't want it to be too bumpy so he it slows down to two meters per second and 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 so on so let's take a look let's take a look at what what are the values of his acceleration along along his trip so acceleration is what I like to find now remember what acceleration means it just means the change in velocity over the time taken and right now my time taken I've, I've broken them down into one second interval so so it's just one uh, my time taken for each of these change is just one so it's easy to find so from there to there there's an increase of three meters per second in one second so that's just my acceleration so three meters per second squared and from there to there from there to there um, uh, there's an increase in two meters per second in one second so that's two meters per second squared and from there to there there's actually a decrease there's actually a decrease so if I if I take the final minus the initial if I take the final minus the initial okay now I'll get minus 3 meters per second squared so I have to emphasize uh, one point which I mentioned about the signs the directions of the velocity now when I when I do this sort of calculation mentally just now I've simply taken like how, how did I get my 3 I simply took the 3 here minus the 0 here I got a 2 by taking the 5 here minus the 3 here but in doing that in doing that I am assuming I am assuming that the velocity is a positive value of 5 remember that a is equal to v minus u over t each of the v and u must have a direction and that in this formula is determined by the sign okay if I just take the 5 and put it in I I have made an assumption which I did not mention. So that's that's the subtle that's the tricky part about about doing using this formula. So let me make that assumption more explicit. Let, let me write it down clearly. Now if I so what I've done was I've just taken say the five and the three and put them in here to find my two. Okay, and by doing that, by doing that I am assuming because if just taking the five means that it is positive. So I am assuming that this direction that this direction is positive okay and the correct way to do it is that I really should have specified them this uh, before using the formula like I said we could equally well choose the opposite side to be positive um, and I'll maybe in, in later videos I talk about uh, why it doesn't make any difference to the answer so for now for now let's just follow the rules and if that's plus the rule says that the opposite direction must be minus okay um, so that and the minus sign as we have seen in the previous video means that means that it is uh, in this case decelerating because it's opposite to the direction of the velocity now 
What I want to talk about here, as I said, is non-uniform acceleration, and that means that the acceleration is not the same. Not the same means not the same over time. So as you can see, from second to second, the value of the acceleration has changed. First is 3, then it's 2, then it's minus 3. So it kept changing. Okay, maybe the road is very bumpy or very rough uh, and or some reasons. Okay, so we describe this changing accel acceleration by calling it a non-uniform acceleration. So that's what this means. Alright, so while we are here, while we are here, let me let me take this um, idea on the signs a bit further. Okay, let me explore another example. Let me explore an example in which let's say when the car when the car slows down. Okay, at this point it's two meters per second. It's two meters per second. Okay. Let's say it, it decides to turn back. It decides to turn back. So after one second, after one second, right, one second here, it slows down to a stop. So that's, right, it's at rest after one second, and then, and then it starts driving back. So it turns round, turns round, and start accelerating backwards. So after it has stopped. In the next second after it after it has stopped, okay, go this way, and it it has increased its speed to three meters per second, okay, and then let's say it continues to to increase its speed by okay another two meters per second to to five um, to five meters. Per second squared. Oh no, not squared. We're talking about speed here. Okay, so it slowed down and then it turned back and then and then it goes. So it's it's uh, as you can see, if you if you just calculate the change in velocity, the the just take the difference directly and divide by the one second, you can get the value, the magnitude for the acceleration. But what I really want to talk to talk about here is the direction. Is the direction. So following this definition, following this definition that um, that the right side is positive and the left side is negative. In order to use this formula, we we have to give signs to the velocities first. All right. So we must remember this very important first step so so then therefore what is the sign of that velocity right it's to the right so it's plus what about that one okay, it's to the left so it's minus that one is minus because it's to the left so to the left is negative so having determined the signs let me now find the acceleration um, over this one second where it, where it changes from minus 3 to minus 5. So in this case, for this interval, this would be my this would be my final velocity, that would be my initial velocity, that and that would be my t that I use for this formula. So let me let me calculate that. A is equal to V minus U over T and V is minus 5 meters. Okay now I got my sign and U is minus 3 minus minus 3 okay divide by okay actually it's getting a bit messy let me write this out more clearly so it's minus 5 that's the v minus minus 3 which is the u divide by the time which is 1 okay if we remove the brackets and work this out carefully we will get minus 2 meters per second squared and that's my acceleration now as I've mentioned in the last video students often look at the negative sign in, a, in an acceleration and call it a deceleration right when, when students see 
minus 2 meters per second squared, they, many of them would start thinking that it is slowing down, it is a deceleration. But as you can see from this example, the speed is actually increasing, just that it's in the opposite direction, that's why you have a minus sign. So in this case, the, the, it is actually getting faster and faster, but in the negative direction. Okay, so in this case, it is actually getting faster. In this case, it's not a deceleration. So if you remember, you only get a deceleration, right, as I emphasized in the last video, you only get a deceleration when the velocity and the accelerations are in the opposite direction, just like in this case. So that's a deceleration. That one is a deceleration because, because this velocity is to the right and that uh, acceleration is to the left because of the minus sign. Okay, So because acceleration and velocity are in the opposite direction, so it is slowing down. Deceleration means it's, it's slowing down. Alright, but this is not a deceleration here because as you can see, it is speeding, it is speeding up. 